Yo. I got this all put back together. These firing rings are a little blown out. This one's got some funny stuff on it. It's got some real goofy... I don't know. I don't know if that's carbon buildup or what, but it's all over the head gasket. I think it's carbon from the head lifting. Yeah, all these firing rings are kind of blown out a little bit from the head lifting. One other thing I'm going to deal with with this car, it's got a it's got a really bad drone. So I'm going to take this for a test drive. I'm going to go get some non-oxygenated 92 octane, drain the tank, do this all over again because I got to get a new tune. I got to I got to get this E85 out of here. So I'm going to go for a little test drive, and I'm going to see if this phone will pick up that drone. This is a really common noise when you don't have a muffler. Don't really need one for a turbocharged car. We're at about 3,500. It gets really annoying. Put about a gallon and a half of non-oxygenated in it just because I can. I'm gonna try to be nice to this thing so I don't blow a head gasket on this shitty tune. Take it down the freeway. To try to get this noise to go away by building a side branch resonator. Um, I just got a mandrel bent two and a half inch pipe. Apparently you should use the same size as what I what you have. I have three inch exhaust and um, it's really expensive and it won't be as roomy. So I'm gonna try to do this with a two and a half inch chunk. You want mandrel bent pipe, it should be straight, but there's no place to put a straight pipe. Basically what this does is it takes the frequency of the drone and it makes it travel up this pipe and then I put a stop on the end and the, the noise will travel back down into the exhaust and it's supposed to cancel out the frequency that's making the drone without creating any reduced flow in my exhaust like a muffler would just kill a lot of power in this car so it's it's got to be it's got to be straight out from the exhaust and i think i'm going to put it here because this is the only spot i can find where there's any room in this car and it should fit because this is where the muffler was i think i'm going to try to go around the hanger and I'm going to weld it up, up here. And um, there's, there's a mathematical equation you can do for this too. And um, that has something to do with the speed of sound in, in the RPMs and, and the number of cylinders you have. And I, I'm coming up with 32 inches. And a lot of other people that have done these too, they come up with the same number. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to put a stop in it. I've got, I've got to drill a two and a half inch hole right here and um, weld it in just so long as it's coming straight out right here I should be good. I'm going to leave myself about an inch of room to work with on this end where I got to weld it to my pipe. I just tied a little knot and a piece of string and measure it at 32 inches. I'm just going to go along this, try to make a imaginary center line on the pipe. And that looks like it right there. So 
Well, this is what I'm after right here. I put an exhaust tip on this thing and uh, this bolt up here for the tips in my way. So I'm probably going to hack that off and just weld this tip on because that'll give me a little more room up here. Actually right there is about right where I want it. I'm just going to try to eyeball the center on this thing. This stainless steel is really hard. It should be fun to cut into. This is by no means an ideal solution. Um, it's a keyhole saw. It's made for wood. They're cheap enough though. I'm going to try to use this. Note the word try. Wow, I don't know what this drill bit's made out of, but it sure does suck. I should probably sharpen it. That's doing absolutely nothing. Oh, I chewed up that blade in no time flat. This stuff is really hard. Time to get creative with the cutoff wheel, I guess. That's how it's going to be. I'm going to cut this off and I actually want to push this tip in farther and it's hitting this nasty weld I made here for this hanger. So I'm going to cut a little chunk out of this and try to get it in, I don't know, about a half an inch more. I'd like that better. I gotta cap this off somehow. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do that yet. Good enough for me. Ah! Da, da, da. Okay, whatever the heck. I gotta scribe this. Yeah, I hear a drone. I hear a horrible drone. Before I get too carried away, I'm going to make sure this fits. And it is going to fit. i got about a half an inch of clearance before it hits the frame. Now i just got to try not to pull up any of my fugly welds inside the pipe. I think I'm going to paint it. I don't know why, I just painted this. It looks uh, like crap already. I'll do it anyways, because I have paint. I know I'm a bad painter because I'm always dirty and I never have time to let paint dry. Ah, it didn't dry. I got it on my pants. <laughs> Okay. No gasket and the wonder goo. 
That's fun. It didn't dry on the pipe all the way, but I can't wipe it off my hand either. What the heck is up to that? It's hidden pretty well. I got the pipe in far enough. Let's see how this piece of funk works. Oh, that's gone. It's not nearly as bad as it was. Hey, there's no drone. I can hear myself speak. Amazing. It actually did work. This exhaust sounds pretty good, man. Pretty nice. No drone. Ha 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 ha. Awesome. Super nice. It sounds quieter. There's even less of a drone right now. Uh-oh. Bye.